Alrighty, so I got to go to the park today and I'm gonna give you guys as much information as I possibly can in the shortest time frame that I possibly can. Um, so Dairy Queen is no longer at Canada's Wonderland, it's been replaced by their very own um, to themselves Swiss Dips that serves very generic basic ice cream that's dipped. I think it's brilliant, it's gonna work really well and very simple menu. Um, the All Wells Hall has replaced Marketplace. Um, it's going to have kind of like a new pub menu, so that's going to be super awesome as well. Uh, they've done a lot of little upgrades to detail around the park that I absolutely love, that you're going to see throughout this video, um, and I'll touch on. Uh, Riptide is not up and running. Uh, it's not showing any signs that it won't be up and running permanently this season, just... To be fully honest, the park is definitely very far behind in terms of maintenance. Mindbuster and Dragonfire are only running one train, and some of the rides like Windseeker and Riptide are not up and running yet um, as well. Uh, besides that, it was a really great day. Leviathan was running really slow, but it was extremely cold. Again, the park was open about a week earlier than it typically is. Um, so very cold, very windy. Um, but yeah, the restaurant, it is so much bigger in person. And look, it's going to look amazing. Like that little like chimney looking thing, that's going to be an entrance sign. So I'm really excited for the restaurant now. Um, I will say it is definitely a lot farther behind than I had originally thought from flying the drone. I was originally hoping for May 2 for. I will say, with that being said, as you've heard me say in my videos, and it does get proven a lot, Wonderland has a tendency to somehow pull things um, out of thin air and just complete things when it doesn't look like they're going to complete it. So I am going to hold on to the May 2 4 weekend. Um, and a couple of questions that we saw on our TikTok live, for those of you that aren't following us on TikTok, definitely follow us on TikTok because uh, I'm going to do a lot of our live streaming at the park. So for tomorrow, I'm going to live stream in the park um, from TikTok. So definitely check that out on, on TikTok. But um, what was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, it was such a good day. I have to say, the operations usually start off really horrible. And it's not even anyone's fault. It's just when you train new people at any job, things start off slow. And it takes like a week or two to get into the groove of things. I have to give the teams at Canada's Wonderland a huge, holy crap, that was the best operations I've seen on an opening day at any theme park. I haven't been to many, so. But at, at Canada's Wonderland, that is the best operations I've seen. Yukon Striker wasn't stacking at all behemoth even had really good operations as well which is like a first so the team over there absolutely killing it that's awesome and then leviathan had really good operations within their realm of control considering the weather so it was a really good start i mean even sledgehammer was up and running so i i just had to insert that in the video because honestly that was probably the most impressive opening day i'd ever seen and i'm not even trying to suck up to anyone i genuinely mean that um in terms of new th things um i uh, have to say that the new buildings the coke refresh station is stunning okay that's not an understatement it looks like a barn like old barn kind of style but very modern looking too at the same time i really loved it so and then the ice cream sandwich place is really awesome too it's got this cobblestone at the base of it love it i'm not a fan of the fast lane building it's very generic it's themed to the slingshot building and the wind sinker look wind seeker look so i'm not a fan of that i was kind of hoping they'd continue the look all the way down but it looks like frontier canada is actually going to stop right at skyhawk and it's just not going to continue downward anymore um so a little disappointed by that i was kind of hoping that action zone would kind of slowly vanish over the years um, still holding out for a huge action zone removal in terms of theme and replace uh, with World Expo that used to exist. Let's um, go over to Planet Snoopy. So Planet Snoopy definitely is showing signs um, of still some newer stakes popping up. So there's a few new red stakes that have popped up. So I will say we are starting to see some gas line markers back there. And the same thing has happened with the Harmony Hall style restaurant over uh, on Vortex Hill. So the Mountain Bear, Cl uh, Mountain Bear restaurant. Uh, so I definitely think that uh, the kids area could potentially see a restaurant 
as well, and it would make sense. There is very little places to sit down and eat in Planet Snoopy and Kidsville, so I think building one back there would be really smart as well. Um, and on the good news, uh, there are further signs of something happening in Whitewater Canyon Forest. Further markers were spotted and further tree uh, removal markers uh, were wrapped around some trees as well. So we're going to keep a very close eye on there. Um, and we did some measurements. And again, whenever I talk about things that I do not fully know, I am going to stress um, that this is take with a grain of salt. Um, but I personally feel... Um, and have measured out that Railblazer would perfectly fit in that thin strip of forest in between Yukon Striker's vertical loop and Whitewater Canyon's trough, uh, right where the construction trailer has popped up and where the markers have appeared. So we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on that, um, and definitely uh, it's of interest to us. So here are some of the markings. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Canada's Wonderland has definitely got something up their sleeve for um, 2023. Um, just economically and financially, the things align that we have some money to spend in 2023 that has been kind of held off for a couple years. And uh, I, I'm honestly really excited. I'm really glad to have gotten back into the park and to have experienced Canada's Wonderland. And I'm really excited to be at Media Day tomorrow. Um, and trying out the new food menus and the festivals. Um, so super excited about that. Here, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. So we covered uh, a lot of the new uh, touch-ups. Um, we covered the operations. We covered the construction of the restaurant, the potential construction of new additions in 2023. And I believe that's pretty much it. Obviously, there's going to be a more detailed video, everything new for 2022, um, coming out over the next two days. I just wanted to get this out just to get a quick little, oh, this is what's going on in the park. This is what's open. This is what's not open. On that note, Wonder Mountain's Guardian is open. Um, and the guns are working where the guns are installed. Not all the guns are back installed. Um, and the new upgrade has not been installed yet. So I don't want to touch on that too much but there is an upgrade to capacity coming to that ride it was expected to be for this season um, a little about a month in after opening but that could be moving to um, 2023 now so uh, we'll keep an eye on that but yeah thanks so much for watching the video guys and I can't wait to see you guys at the park today whenever you watch this video if it's the night before or the day of uh, definitely feel free to say hi. If you don't see me at the park, it's because we're going to be at the media day for about two hours of the day. And then we will be out and about Craig and I and a bunch of our friends. So definitely feel free to say, hey, um, don't be shy to approach us. If you've heard bad things about us, um, just remember there are always two sides to a story and that includes my side of every story as well. So there's always a third side to every story. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, and that applies to my side of all this stuff as well. So um, don't be afraid. We're really nice. So come up and talk to us. I am trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. But even if I am, our everything new for 2022 video will cover anything that I miss in this video. Um, oh, I guess I'll touch on a few things. So Wild Beast has anti-rollbacks on the fan curve now. And it makes a really loud crashing noise as it hits them. I remember we heard it and we were like, oh my god, the ride's broken. And we went on and rode it. And we were like, oh, it's anti-rollbacks now. Um, but you can really hear them. Vortex has got a really loud screech to it now all throughout the track. Windseeker is in pieces and the cables are hitting the side of the tower. So if you hear that, it's just because it doesn't have those little guides going up the tower. If you know what I'm talking about as the the um, ride vehicle goes up the tower, it kind of collects them. And then as it comes back down, it drops them back in place to hold those um, wires in place from moving around too much. So it's definitely um, missing that. So that's about all in terms of a rides. And um, the cashless booths, there are eight of them. There's one at front gate that's a little hidden next to the lost and found. Uh, there's one in Medfair. Um, and then there's one in Planet Snoopy. And I am forgetting where some of the other ones are. But they're scattered all over. It's literally one booth. There's one even near the fly. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a lot more convenient. They will not take cash this year, so definitely be prepared. Bring If you have cash, know where the booths are and go up to the booths and get those cards. Um, I, try, I remember I forgot and I tried to pay with cash for my uh, lunch. And the guy was like, oh, we don't take cash. And I was like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, that's about it. Um, 
There are no COVID restrictions in place. That is not my opinion. Last time I made a video on this, I upset a few people. I've worn, I have all my vaccines. I've worn my mask. I'm not anti anything, but um, I'm just reporting that Wonderland has no restrictions in place, no masks on ride, no masks in buildings, no social distancing, um, and all, all the seating's opening, arcades open. It's all back to normal at Wonderland. So if that's what you wanted to know, just presenting the information, please don't take that as I'm like, oh, yay. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it. Can't wait to see you guys at the park tomorrow. Uh, it was so needed and it's gonna be so nice. So excited. Um, have a good weekend. Honestly, have a great weekend. I mean that. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.